Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I am doing an auction haul. So I have a ton of stuff to show. We're gonna do a kitchen counter haul video so that you can see everything very clearly. But I spent over 200, I spent like $261 on everything, including some fabulous quilts that I, um, th those pretty much, those were like more expensive than everything else that I got. But let's start off with the first uh, counter full of stuff right now. All right, let's start right over here first. So we have the days of the week kitchen towels, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all of them, which is really good. So these will sell for about $60 for the entire set. Uh, they're the old flower sack and they're cross stitched and they're all different. So they're very neat and those will do well. Now I don't remember how much I paid for every, for like each thing specifically, but like I said, it was a total of uh, $261. And the most expensive things were the quilts. They were running about $60 to $70 each. And I have three of them. Uh, well, technically four, but we'll continue. So then we have these. These are the pillowcases, beautiful colors in really good shape. These, will he these here, there are a pair of them, will sell for about $12 each, or $12 for the pair and they, they match. So we've got the pillowcases. And then these are awesome too. Again, a pair of those with a little crocheted edging. And those will sell for about $12 each. Maybe a little more. I really like these and they're really crisp and white. And I like the pink and everything. Maybe as much as 14 on those. Then we have the red and green for those. Little, another $12. Uh, here are some actual uh, napkin or handkerchiefs, and they're cross stitched. So we'll see about that. We'll sell those somewhere, and then we have the same thing right over here, little little guys, and then pink and white for is that one and two or yeah there we go. So the pair of those another twelve dollar set. Now this is a terry cloth, I think tablecloth. It's pretty large. I might end up keeping this one. I haven't decided yet. I would really like to sunroom in our back porch and I think that would look really cool on our table out there. But um, it has this like flower kind of thing on it. So we'll see about that one. So that's fabric. That's the first section of fabric. But in, once I clear this counter and put more on, there'll be more fabric. So here we have the uh, Riviera line by Homer Laughlin and it's a pretty popular pattern we have the green and the orangey kind of a color like an orange and a sugar dish now i bought in a whole bunch more so this is just a little sampling of it and you'll see the rest later on in the rest later on in the haul video but i bought all of it for two dollars now these right here will sell for about 15 to 20 dollars by themselves so that's already fantastic and there's lots of plates and everything else so i'll show you that but we've got the sugar dish here now this is a pattern that's not marked. So that's very common with the Riviera line. It's not marked, you just have to know what it is based on what it looks like. So that's what it looks like, the Riviera. And this came in all different colors. Uh, these were part of something, I wasn't seeking them out, but there are these pottery pieces with the little leaf motif on them. So we'll see about those. But this here is a really awesome ruby cake plate pedestal dish. So this is the Georgian pattern by Viking. And you can see just how pretty that is. It's just this geometric sort of uh, design. This one here, I'm a little unsure of the, the value of it because they don't come up. I looked both on eBay solds, actives, and worth point. And you know, worth point, it, it goes for years back. So I was hard, it was hard to find one like this, but I did find a few, and the prices were all over, uh, some, mostly over $30, and as high as I've, I saw 50. So we'll see about this one here, but it's in great shape, and I haven't decided what I'm gonna put it, price it at. I'm thinking maybe 50, since one has not came up in a long time. And Viking is popular with like the swung vases right now. It's very, it's very in. The ruby, we're coming up. We got the second, the fourth quarter coming up with Christmas and everything, the colors. So I'm thinking about $50 plus shipping on that one. 
Now here we have some little critters. These are made in Japan and they are marked $2. I guess this was at a yard sale at some point, but it did get sold at an auction. I also wanted to say that most of the items that you see that were gonna go online, I put them on my very own website. So you can get to it by going to realniftyvintage.com and all of those items are going to be there. So I'm trying that out. It's just a new way to do it so that I can avoid some fees from eBay. Uh, but we will try that out on the realniftyvintage.com website. It's actually powered through Bonanza, but I have my own standalone uh, looking website. So it's pretty cool. And we'll see how that goes. So they are marked Japan and they are ceramic for the little chipmunks, I guess they are. But yeah, they are. They're cute, they go together. Both have their little Japan stickers and in pretty nice shape. Now back here, you'll see some seals. I guess they are, or otters. Maybe they're sea otters. And these are Masterpiece Porcelain by Homeco. Very similar to Andrea by Sadik. Um, sort of in that same kind of styling, as well as these back here. So we've got the raccoons. You don't see raccoon things very often. And this is Masterpiece Porcelain as well. So Homeco did a lot of figurines and stuff, mass-produced figurines, and I guess this was their finer stuff. You can see the mark right there. Masterpiece Porcelain by Homeco, made in Mexico. So yeah, overall in pretty nice shape for these little raccoons. Oh, so I will ima I, ima I would imagine that the raccoons would sell for about $15 or more, about 15 to 20, that's a good size. The seal's about the same. These little uh, critters here, about 20 and up, maybe as high as uh, 24 for the pair of those. Then we have this really pretty bluebird. Looks like a bluebird. It's a planter. I sold one of these before. Oh, it's a blue jay, it actually says. And again, they were trying to sell it for $5, but I will do much better than that. It's a really nice Japan piece in great shape. This one should sell for 20 plus. 20, 20, 20, 22, somewhere in there for the planter. It's very nice. These, I believe, are crafted. The paint job on that is making me suspect that for the little fox, little fox guys here. So you can see the glaze. Not sure. It just doesn't seem like a like a mass-produced piece. The form does, but the paint job is making me wonder. It, it's decent. I'm just not sure what to think about it. Uh, it's not a salt or a pepper shaker. It's just a figurine, and you have the pair of them for the little squirrels, I guess they are. So these I'd probably sell... Are they foxes or squirrels? No, they're squirrels. Okay, so they would probably sell for about 15 to 20 for the pair of them. Oh, we've got all these up here. So let's see. Let's let's go to this. We have here we have here a alum, an aluminum powder jar, musical powder jar. I love the little red uh, glass. What do you call that? Marble, I guess, on top of it, and it does play. Oh, I didn't wind it up. It's running out. I didn't wind it up. So you'd have your powder in here with your little. There you go. It's going now. So yeah, there's this little clip right here. And once the lid is on it, it compresses that and it stops the music. But this is very nice, and this alone should sell. It's a it's a good one. It's one of the better ones I've seen with the, the marble and everything. This one should sell for about $18 or so. So we've got that. Then we have a set of these owls. So this is actually Barb's logo, Winking Owl Antiques. She has a pair of these, and I'm not... If offhand, I don't know who made them, if it's like Shawnee or I cannot recall, but we have two sets of them. So that's pretty nice. We've got the pair of those. Each set of those should sell for about $12 each plus shipping. So that's very nice. We have a little, what are these people? Are they like Holland or Dutch? I am not quite sure, but we've got the gal and the guy. Salt and pepper shakers. They are... I was looking for a marking on here. I'm not sure. They could, they're probably Japan though. So we've got those. Uh, these should sell for about eight to $10. Then these are very cute. They are in the anthropomorphic styling with the way that the eyes are done. And they're very cute, have lots of expression to them with the little bow. 
not marked. I would imagine it was a Made in Japan sticker that had fallen off, and you have a pair of them. These should do, oh, here you go. There's the sticker right there, and it is a red foil sticker. It says Art Mark Originals, hand painted. These should do about $15 for the pair of those. Uh, maybe a little tiny bit more, we'll see. And then we have the panda bears up front here. I don't often see panda bears, so those are nice. These are also Japan, and they would do about $12 or so. Another pair of owls. These are Lefton. There's the bottom stamp right there, the Lefton sticker. These should do about um, uh, 12 to 14. I do see a little chip, that's why I'm hesitant on the price. So, but they're very cute. And the geese. Geese are coming back. The 80s is coming back. So we have here the handcrafted by Otagiri. So Otagiri is collectible in itself, and we've got the geese. So uh, probably about $12 on those. Little frozen Charlotte is hanging out here. Little bisque ceramic doll. So that's cute. And it's marked Japan on the back, right there, kind of up the, up the, up the spine. So um, this... I'll probably sell for, you know, $5 in a Friday night sale. So the things that are cheaper are like things that are under $10 most likely will go on a Friday night sale. Uh, otherwise, they would be listed online. Now we've got these cute little dogs here. They are stinking cute. Oh my gosh, that face. And it is, it's either Japan or Taiwan. Oh, and it is left and that would be Japan. So super cute for those they would sell for about 10 to 12 for the dogs and i'm not sure offhand what what kind of dogs those are back here we have two glass blown glass animals this one is in the style of uh in the style of what am i thinking of gobel it looks a lot like the gobel animals that they did it's not marked it's just, it looks good quality, but on the bottom it would be etched, usually. So, I don't see any other marking on here, but just as a glass cat paperweight, I would sell it for around $12. And then we have the owl. It has a gold sticker on the bottom. Most of it's sort of gone. Uh, People's Republic of China. Uh, this one here I would sell for about t 8 to $10. It's, if you can also see, has a little bit of a yellow tint to it. I would venture to think that there's a little, little crystal in there, a little lead in, that, in, this, in this one over here to make it that brilliant, bright, white, or not white, clear. Uh, look at the cats. Those are really cute. These are salt and peppers most likely Japan. I don't see any marking on them, but they are adorable. Those would sell for about 14, I would say. The size is very different. The form, look at that body there. So those those are very very nice. Then we have Dalmatian, Dalmatian back here. Um, the one back here, the tail has been broken off and glued back on, I looked that over, and the hind leg as well. So they're not perfect. I would probably sell those in a Friday night sale for about $8. Still Dalmatian items are harder to find. I don't see them often and it's more of a designer dog. So, well, actually I don't want to say designer dog, but it's more of a purebred. So they tend to be more expensive. Thus that kind of, that sort of collector is willing to pay a little more. I think you don't see it as often. Look at this Japan pepper. Look at that. It's just the one. Uh, we'll see what I do with that one. I'm not entirely sure. I'm probably a Friday night item for, you know, $5. Then we have Mr. and Mrs. Humpty, or Mr. and Mrs. Dumpty. I don't, yeah, it's Dumpty, because we've got Humpty right here. And who is, is who is the, girl, the gal? Does she have a name? Is she Bumpty? Humpty and Bumpty? Humpty and Bumpty the Dumpties. <laughs> well, they're both intact. Apparently they didn't fall off anything lately. These are, I wanna say Taiwan or, yeah, I would imagine they're Taiwan. If 
from the 70s, but they are super cute and they will sell in a Friday Night Live sale for about eight bucks. Over here we have the Chef People. These are rubber, these are rubber. Uh, I'm looking for a maker on them. I don't know, I mean not a maker, but a country of origin. They could be Japan, they could be Hong Kong, but they are very cute and those will go up on a Friday night sale. The salt, it says salt there, it's sort of worn and the pepper is worn off. And these would have been painted fully and uh, that's what's left. Now back here we have Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus. The Mr. and the Mrs. These are Japan. The cold paint is sort of peeling off in different areas, but they are really cute and they're sort of unusual. So I will um, sell those for, oh gosh, probably about $12 in the condition that they're in. And then we have some lambs back here. This one has a giant crack through it. So we'll have to see what I decide on that one. But these are pottery. Um, like an American bisque type of pottery. Unless it's a more well-known studio piece, I'm not sure, but it has the cold paint on it. And that's pretty worn. Uh, but in the state that they are in, I would expect to make off a pair of them about um, somewhere between eight to ten dollars for the pair, the way they are. But they're a good size. They're pottery. Look at this bird. Oh, look at Stella. She's over there too. So we've got this wood carved bird, and it's more of like a folk art kind of a thing, isn't it? So this one here, I'd probably sell for around fifteen to twenty dollars, the way that it is. And here's the bottom. You can see that the wood there. Get a better view of that. So that's that one. It's a nice size, almost about 11 to 12 inches tall. Oh, right here, we've got this little bear hanging out with the little flowers and everything. Again, this is Home Co. in the Masterpiece Porcelain made in Mexico for the bear. Um, and that one, I would think around tw uh, $12. Here we have a nice piece. This is a butter dish in the one pound. It's a one pound butter dish by Hazel Atlas in the clear crisscross. So the crisscross pattern was made in other colors like cobalt and it's kind of a collectible uh, piece. This one here would sell for about 30 or so dollars in the state that it's in, which is perfect. No chips or cracks. The clear, of course, isn't as desirable as cobalt or a colored piece or uh, like a uranium variant but it's still very nice and that should do well and um, that was a good find so then we have here the two hound dogs are they dot doc doc hound doc dosh hound i don't know dac whatever so <laughs> we've got the salt and the pepper and these are very nice they're in great shape with the cold paint it's like sprayed on cold paint like with an airbrush and these are from the 70s era. Very nice, and those should do, I would think, about 15, based on their size and the dog and everything. So that's cool. Back here we have this. It is a bull, it's a bull mug. Not marked on the bottom, there is crazing throughout, and it says World's Champion Bull Thrower. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but it's very different. This mug should sell for about, uh, well, about 12, 12, 15, because it's unique and it's kind of different. Uh, back here, we have some squirrels. These are also Masterpiece, the Masterpiece, uh, I got, forgot what it was, Masterpiece Porcelain by Home Co. And this one is in great shape without any issues. This one over here has some issues. So I might end up donating it because it's hardly worth selling based on its size and everything by the time you know we, we consider its value so you've got a, 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 the trunk see it right off right off here that's broken right there and then down here there's like a little chip so in the state that it's in it's probably i would sell it for about five dollars but like i said with, with the shipping and everything else i'm not so interested i'd probably donate it this one i would sell in the state that it's in about 14 or so um, so it's pretty good right here is an interesting interesting piece it's actually made in austria 
something I don't see very, very much. But it's this hammered metal ashtray. And I don't know who this guy is, if anybody happens to know. That would help. Uh, for now, I'm going to hang it, hang tight on the back end and, and, no. <laughs> for now, I'm going to hold off on listing him because I'm not sure what it is. But it is marked made in Austria and it's very cool. If I was to list it right now, I would probably put it up for around $20 because the Austria ashtrays that I had found, some are listed for good money, but if you look at the solds, they're not really flying off the shelf all too much, just so I don't know. And of course, I didn't find one with a figure like this. I saw some with animals and things, which are more desirable than people. <laughs> Here we have the moon and stars in the amber glass, and later on in this video, I will have more moon and stars. Uh, but this is very nice, and this alone will sell for about eight to ten dollars for the little toothpick holder. This little mouse is super adorable, and unfortunately, is broken. It's missing a foot, so I will put this with my other figurines that are broken in one way or another, and eventually, I will sell them some, some in some way. But they're great for crafts, and this one is certainly cute, and I, I love the way they did this. It's just really well done. Um, I'm not sure who made it. It looks Japan to me, but I like it a lot. We'll put that aside. Then we have a corn dish. It starts with a V, I think. V-A-L-L-O... No, I don't know. Store? What? Uh, California. Oh... So it's a California pottery. Here we have a Nippon dish, and it's really well done. It has the pierced sides. Oh, I said Nippon inadvertently. It's made in Japan, so it's just a made in Nippon, made <laughs> made in Nippon, made in Japan piece. Of course, N Nippon is made in Japan, but there there's a difference I think to collectors that collect just Nippon. So it's just a made in Japan piece from the 30s, and it is in this wonderful. Mm, scene right here. All right, so we're gonna round out the rest of the Homer Laughlin Riviera. We've got it in this box here. So can you believe that? Two dollars for all of this, the salt and the pepper that I showed you earlier, and the sugar bowl. That is just like a deal. Like, I don't know what was going on that day, but nobody wanted it, and these are all prime pieces. You know, this is a collectible pattern. It's from the 30s. The stuff is just awesome so we've got our, i already went through and pulled out the pieces that were they had like a chip or something wrong with them so this is all good stuff we have a set of five yellow bowls these are great they should do about th at least thirty dollars for the five of them then we have this really nice big serving dish here i didn't look up the comps on this one yet but it's in pretty good shape so that should do well and then we have do you have some saucers here? I'm not sure how I'm going to delegate these. Or, uh, and there's some random cups over here too. The cups, for the most part, they're in good shape. I think, let's see, the green one's in good shape. The blue one, I'm not sure. There's like a little, like a little flea bite right here, right on the, there it is, right there. So, the cups, you know, I'm not too worried about. They're a little dirty. And then we have a couple of these larger serving dishes. Those are real nice. And then a couple other like platters and then a larger platter and then a super large platter. These are like little bread plates or dessert plates. Those are all in great shape, lots of blue ones. So all in all, these are some really good pieces and that is remarkable. All right, so we're back with round two. I've got the countertop filled again and we're gonna keep going. So, more pillowcases. I did really well with the pillowcases. And so we have a set here of the flowers. Those again are about a $12 set. And then we've got these here, very similar. Another $12 set and here. So I did really well on the pillowcases with all of that. And then here is my free item of the day. Somebody else bought some stuff and it's, it's kind of hit or miss with these. So a lot of people don't really like them. And so I saw the person that like 
bought a group of, a group of Christmas stuff. And one of the Christmas things that she bought was a ceramic tree. And so I had my suspicions that the tree was really what they were after. She uh, packaged, was packaging up her things and I said, do you want this? And she said, and she just actually gave it to me. And I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah. So that was really cool that I was able to get that uh, for free. And then we've got a little Kool-Aid guy here. Uh, this, uh, you know what? I'm not actually sure what the value is of it. It of course would have came with a matching pitcher. They made them in clear and they made them in blue and red. Uh, so this is just a little cup. I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of cute. I might hang on to it if it's not worth very much. It probably isn't, it's just a cup, but that came with something. Uh, we do have a selection here of Homeco figurines. These are not gonna do too well, I don't think, but you know, I'll, I'll look them up to be sure, but they're Homeco. And then we've got this little, uh, what is that? That's also Homeco. Homeco did an interesting thing there. So you can see their mark, which is, crossed swords and it's very similar to the Mycin logo which is what they were going for I guess uh, so we've got the little horse figurine this one is done pretty well and I will sell it it should it should sell for about ten to twelve dollars uh, because it's a horse and then we've got the ducks again these are really really well done and this is that masterpiece porcelain again by home co and uh, the flower is in really good shape if you can see that there's like a little flower right there. That's in really awesome shape. So this one should do well. Again, probably maybe a $10, $10 and up for the ducks. And then we do have the chickens. More of this home coast stuff. And there's a bigger, there's a bigger version of that logo. So we've got the, the chickens. Chickens are popular and I'll probably sell the pair of those and they should go for about $15, maybe a little bit more. Ah, we do have the Pillsbury Doughboy and his wife. Stuff like this, you would think would be collectible, but it's not as collectible. There, I mean, there are some items that are more desirable than others, but, um, so th this is dated 1974. Oh, this is Poppy. That's his wife, Poppy. Pillsbury, Pillsbury 1974. Uh, the salt and pepper should sell for about $8. They're plastic. Now, something I was really excited to get were all of these jam jars. And I had my price in mind. There are 10 of them. Is that right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And I remember how much I paid because they were a dollar each. So I was able to get all of those. And that also included a couple other things. And I don't remember offhand what that was. But let's just take that for what it is. A dollar a piece. These will sell for about $10 each. So you're basically looking at $100 worth of jam jars, which is outstanding. Now, some a little bit less, like uh, $8 for this one probably, since it has a little chip there. But all in all, they're in great shape. And uh, so for the little jam jars, I was excited to get those. We've got the apple, the strawberry, and they made an ever elusive pineapple one. If you find that one, it's worth good money, the pineapple one. So yeah, we got the jam jars by Hazel Atlas. And then up front here, moon and stars in the amber. And also this little chick here, it's this made in Japan. Well, it says famous in bar. It's sold originally for $2.50. But we have this wall plaque with the Asian lady and a duck, I guess, and pretty mountain scene. It's in this Chinese modern kind of styling from the 50s. But we do have the amber moon and stars and I love that we have a little covered dish here, a couple open bowls, a sugar and a creamer. Here's the creamer, sugar over here. Another little bowl and then a small canister. And over here even, we've got a pedestal bowl and a covered pedestal candy bowl. So some really good amber pieces in the moon and stars. I don't remember how much I paid for all of that. I don't think it was much though. Um, and keep in mind, I did pay $260 for everything. And I still haven't showed you the quilts yet. And the quilts, like I said, were, you know, $70 for one, $60 for another, uh, I think $40 for another, and maybe ten do uh, uh, $5 for another one. So that's quite a lot just in the quilts. Now back here, oh, actually look at this, more pillowcases. I just scored really big on those pillowcases. So then we have this set, 
another $12, another $12 for this one. I might throw these in a, oh, that's just on the bag, I was gonna say. Um, I might still put them in an OxyClean bath, which is really good, and nah, that's beautiful. Again, all of these are about $12, $12. I'm trying to think how much I paid. I think this stack, I recall that he held up a stack of pillowcases and I believe I paid $5 for the stack. And I was surprised by, I was surprised. Uh, another auction I'd went to at that same venue, they were going for a lot more. So I'm not sure, maybe there was just another another collector there or somebody, but I was able to get pretty good prices the entire time I was there. So these are gonna do really well for me. These are very cool. These tumblers with the the picture here, or the craft. And this is made by Anchor Hawking and it has the actual Anchor logo on there. You can see that. And it does have the very, very neat striped glasses. So I'll show you that. It sort of has this textured, uh, textured sides on there with the lines and you get four of them. Unfortunately, one of them does have a chip right on the spout. It's this one back here. It's right here. You can see it kind of right in there. Uh, I, I'm not actually sure what could be done about that. If it could maybe be uh, buffed down with maybe a one of those roto thing. What do you, they call those? Those little those little machines that have the thing on the Dremel. A Dremel. Maybe it could be ground down and smoothed over. I don't know. I could possibly try, I have one. And then we have the picture. So I'm not actually sure how much these would go for because I didn't look them up, but generally speaking, glasses like this sell for between three and $5 each. These are different than normal. So I would think we could do five, 10, 15. A, 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 something like this would sell for about 12. So you're at about, I think 24 to, 24 to $30 for the entire set. So we'll see about that. And then we have some figurines here. I was really excited to get these. We have some cool cats here. <laughs> We've got the guy, the gal, and the friend. And they're doing a dance, a little jig. And so these are from the 50s or so. They are uh, very cool, hip, young. <laughs> and um, I wanted to get those. They're definitely different. I've, I haven't seen anything quite like that. So I picked those up and they are marked Japan right on the bottom. They have some age to them. Like I said, I think they're right out of the 50s, 50s, 60s, somewhere in there. And then we have this really pretty, oh, I missed a sticker. I, I did my best to, to wash all of these things off and take stickers off, but this was at Goodwill at some point in 2013, no less. It's really pretty Japan. I love it because of the blue I don't often see this color, this, this, uh, and I don't know if I would consider that luster wear, but it's, so, I love that color combination. I really do. Kind of has a little bit of a deco with the, with the triangle and then the flowers and, and the shape and everything. So those are fun. The, uh, the little, the little dancing people. I don't know how much I would sell those for. I'm going to say somewhere around 20 could be a little bit more. I need to look those up specifically, but I think they're pretty cool. Then we have one of these egg cups by Napco. It's a Napco wear cracked egg vase footed with the little feet. And these do pretty well. I would think this one right here would go for about 10 to 12. Uh, we have some, what is this little boy and little girl? Um, it's Japan. I don't know. I don't know about these necessarily. They are bisque ceramic. So we'll see what those can do. Here we have some really nice, um, I think it's just made in Japan pieces. This is marked, looking for a clear stamp on the bottom here. Here we go. It's made in Japan. Ooh, what does it say? Chika, hmm, Chika Markamachi. Well, I'll let you read that because I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it has a crown and a laurel reef made in Japan. So it's about a 1930s era item. So we have five teacups and then a stack of these saucers. It's really pretty. It's all hand painted and it's nice. 
Here we have a little sauce dish or footed something or other, rice. And you can see there it is painted right on in there. I'm trying to remember what you would what you would call this. I think it starts with a K. It's like it's like a K word. Uh, and I and if I could figure it out, I'll put it on screen what they consider this. But it's this made in Japan. I think I don't see a stamp on it. Uh, little dish. We have a noisemaker with a clown. Um, We'll see about this too. Noisemakers like this go for about $5. Ones that are Halloween or themed like that can go for much more. Uh, oh, did I get through all of those? I did. So now let me show you the quilts. Okay, we are over at my Ikea chair and I have two quilts over here that I want to show you. I bought each of these at the auction, of course, and they are beautiful. I already washed them. And we have the flowers on here and the little triangle, triangular um, points on the side here, these diamond points or whatever they're called. And it's just an overall very nice quilt in great shape with no issues. So I will be selling that one. I did pay up for the quilts, but it was one of those things where I just had to do it. I had to buy them. So we've got that one in the wonderful blue and white. These are all hand sewn by the way, or this one is specifically, and you can look up close and see that the stitches are irregular in their, in their, in their way that they're done. So that's nice. And then we have this one here in the yellow and the orange and the brown, very 70s colors. We have a little, wait, what are you doing guy? Get back up there. We have a little unraveling right here, I might want to just trim that off and or tie it off or something. Overall though, you'll see it's in pretty great shape. I'll open it up a little. No stains, no tears, anything like that. So this one here, I think I paid, I want to say about $40 for, uh, and I haven't decided where that's going to go yet. So I bought those two. Profit margins aren't the, the best. Now this one, I think if, I'm trying to use my memory on it, it's hard to remember about the the, the, the prices I paid for the quilts, but this one, I think it was about 60. And so the blue one, I would, uh, this one is really awesome. I would think I could do it, sell it for around 100, 120, somewhere in there. Now, let me show you another one. Oh, we've got the dog over here. I just, I'm just coming over to look at a quilt, Stell, is that okay? I bet it is. So this one here, I bought to keep. This is just a nice, quilt to use. It's very tattered and I only paid five dollars for it. I washed it. We're going to cover you up. There you go. <laughs> oh, I know it. So you can see it's really tattered, but it's very soft. And overall, it's just a nice quilt to use. So I will kind of snuggle up on this couch with this quilt. I love it. It's very nice. And then, like I said, five dollars not bad. If I was to resell this one, I could easily sell it for 20, but um, it's it's just pretty and I like it. But I'm gonna keep it for the time being. Now let me show you the last quilt that I got. All right, now we are in my bedroom and this is the quilt that I'm keeping, the other quilt that I'm keeping. So this has like these tulips, I wanna say, like little flowers, like abstract flowers. And then again, it has the pink edging with the little triangles triangles on there and then I'll open it up this is in whoopsie this is in beautiful shape no stains no tears nothing this one I paid the most for I think it was about 60 to 70 somewhere in there and I for myself that's not a bad price for a quilt like this so I paid it if I was to sell it I wouldn't sell it for anything less than about 130 but I'm not going to sell it so that's sort of irrelevant, but I really enjoy this and it'll go with my other quilts that we use. We actively use quilts and uh, I like it a lot. I have a dresser scarf under here. You can see this is on a, we've got the little peacock and the flowers. This is on one of these and there's more quilts in there. But for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.